Yeah, I think it's it's a great implementation. You know, identity-wise, obviously, it differentiates two manufacturers. I think that Chevy Arrowkit is is quite uh, awesome. It provides a bit more uh, downforce on the car, and it's actually very nice addition. Um, we haven't really shown it lap times-wise because it's been pretty hot compared to you know what we've been testing in the past with the old kit. But the car is definitely quicker. It's a little bit more stable because it's got more downforce, and uh, so you can challenge the car and challenge yourself even more. So. It's all uh, pretty positive so far. With that, is it more, fit, more physical? Yeah, it is more physical because there's more load on the car, so the cornering speeds are higher, so the steering wheel is heavier. Uh, you brake deeper, so you know you get you pull more G's, and uh, yeah, it's it's gonna take a toll on the drivers. But uh, you know we, that's why we get the big bucks, I guess. Last two questions: How much need? Well, yeah, I mean that's the only uh, downside of uh, of the whole thing. You know, there are so many combinations. You can't really physically you don't have the time to go through them all so you kind of have to trust the the, the simulation tools that are provided by um, you know Pratt and Miller and um, you know they did a good job it seems like every time we make a little change it does exactly what it's uh, advertised for so there's not been any bad surprises so far and the performance is there so um, you know we just have to be smart about it and uh, you know between all the solutions mechanical platform solutions that you can use on the chassis and now on the arrow it's uh, it, it, there are a lot more than one way to make that thing go around and go fast so you just have to pick the best one and uh, it's a lot of uh, lot of picking and, and choosing but uh, it's it's the challenge of it all and this is the better yeah i think it's another step you know towards making indycar even more competitive more attractive um, you know to uh, technological you know advances and uh, it definitely shows, you know, when you open some boxes, what can happen. And uh, they filled these boxes and made the car pretty uh, radical. So uh, I think, you know, anybody who's interested in technology and, uh, you know, who wants to be associated to that is definitely going to be more appealed by it. Tell me about how good this is. Uh, I think there's a lot of positive, um, you know, signs of it. We just need to be able to, uh, to use it. Um, you know, we have to definitely change a lot of our stuff, and we're a little bit late in the game, but, um, you know, to be yesterday, Ryan, a few tenths off on really our second test, I guess, it, you know, we have to look at some of the positives, so hopefully we can just keep making improvements. And what that track is right now? Oh, it's huge, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite limited, actually. Um, you know, especially, like I say, we, we were pretty late in the game as far as being able to really try our full package. Um, so... You know, it, it's every hour counts right now. And then last. Uh, yeah, you know, I think it's obviously got more downforce. Um, you know, it's a bit of a compromise. Obviously, they've they've spent a lot of time on on making the car uh, more aero efficient and and in safety aspects too. You know, IndyCar's taken uh, a lot of the downforce away from the floor, so um, you know, it's still a, it's still a, a plus uh, as an overall stuff, but not uh, not the difference that. You know, maybe some of the big numbers that we were hearing early on, but um, yeah, it's it's exciting. You know, to see the the two cars look, uh, you know, drastically different. Um, you know, they seem pretty close as far as uh, competitiveness on track too, which is fantastic for the racing. Um, but we we'll have to wait and see. You know, it's just testing. Uh, we won't really get a, a good feel for who's got what until we get into to qualifying at St. Pete and the race. And you you've been in the sport, just helping the sport overall. Yeah, it's uh, you know. From when I first started, it was kind of in that in that cycle. Uh, new cars all the time, new uh, aero tweaks and things like that, and it kind of went through a stagnant period. But um, you know, the technical side is really exciting and, and uh, fun to see the changes, fun to work with the changes. I think right now, uh, the drivability is maybe more adaptive to the driver. Uh, in some areas, you know, the, the front wing on the D, DW12 was kind of maxed out. So if you if you wanted a positive front, you you know you couldn't really get it. So it's uh, it's nice, I think, uh, definitely on the Chevy side to have the tools to try and you know manipulate the car and, and uh, maybe get it more dialed in per driver. And lastly, just with the time on the track is important. Any time on the track, uh, you know, because we have you know now, especially with no in-season testing, it's it's uh, you know trying to get everything, you know, just trying to get your tools for the season at different. You're still trying to get 
things that you do here that, that can maybe benefit you at a street course or, or an oval or, or different ideas that you have uh, you know, down the road. So it, uh, a lot of the circuits that we go to this year, there's going to be a lot of different uh, areas that you're going to have to focus in on uh, right away. Uh, I think Chevy as a whole have done a good job of analyzing things, understanding uh, you know the L over Ds that we need at you know specific tracks that we go to, um, you know to make sure that we're kind of in the right zone. So you know I think they've made it seamless, um, you know, for a lot of the teams. Go. Thank you. It's quite a bit different. Um, obviously, uh, the new era kit generated more downforce than the last year. Having said that we lost tons of downforce by not having a proper diffuser, it is by regulation, but in upper body uh, generate a lot of uh, downforce. But also because the downforce is more, um, how can I say, uh, specifically designed to have a, a good airflow, meaning their air sensitivity is a lot higher now. So which means you have to control the platform more than what we had last year. In other words, we were relying on a lot of mechanical grip last year, 2014. Now we are a lot of heavy weight on shifting to the arrow. So we have to sacrifice a little bit for the mechanical balance. But then I think uh, we were struggled a bit, to be honest, in yesterday and this morning. But we tried to some other menu part and then we figured out this afternoon. So we were a little bit happy. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, I'm. I'm not fully aware of which configuration is available. To be honest, because I think uh, ten different configuration is available, so you can generate uh, the downfall, similar downfall, in different way to manipulate airflows. And uh, I think it, depending on the team, there's some certain parts is working for the A team, and then some certain configuration working for the B team. And and uh, we were. We were trying something, and I think we we corrected the very valuable data in the last two days. Good, and then lastly, different is that good for fans? Sure, I mean, uh, good for the fans. You know, it's visibly cause different in you know, between two manufacturers, as well as even the same manufacturer. Like I said, the error configuration could be different, and that's it's a mixture of a challenge for the engineering. For the driver's point of view, nothing really different. As well, you know, as long as you're fast, you, I don't mind to be honest. But I think this uh, it, this could bring another new. Uh, interest for the uh, for the series, and uh, certainly I think everybody is really excited. Um, just it's a lot of grip. Obviously, I mean it's just a lot more downforce. Uh, you know, so the cars are just faster everywhere, everywhere under brakes, in the middle of the corners. It's uh, it's pretty physical. It's amazing actually. They look pretty cool if you go watch. Here, into turn one, stand right next to the track, man, they look so fast, and they are fast. With that going to assault on that track record too? Oh yeah, I would think so. I mean, I can't see why not. You know, we haven't really driven this car on a low grip surface, but I would expect it to be, to be, uh, you know, I, I expect lap records everywhere to be broken, everywhere. So, for you, a good start this car yeah, it's just good, good start. It's just great to get back in the car, honestly, and get things going because now it's going to get busy, you know. We're kind of in the car a lot, and the next few weeks, like you said, another another two test days, and then we go on to St. Pete. But, uh, yeah, I think we found some good stuff here as a team um, to come back with for the, uh, when we race here.